Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, um, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Uh, his name is Jehovah Elion, the Lord of High. Jehovah Adonai, our sovereign God. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God. Jehovah Elohim, the eternal creator. Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God. Jehovah Bara. Jehovah Magen, the Lord, our shield. Jehovah Mashi, the Lord, our refuge. Jehovah Mephalti, the Lord, our deliverer, my deliverer. He has spoken with me on this day, on the 5th of April, the year 2017. And he has spoken about a most fearful event that will take place on this earth a most fearful visitation that we and in this speaking with me today the lord he showed me his glory the cloud of his glory above me where he took me to again the lord took me to a place where there is going to be a meeting the meeting of the Lord. And then at that point, he asked me to look up. And when I looked up, I saw the mighty cloud of the glory of Jehovah Hashofet, the Lord, the judge. Jehovah Hamelech, the Lord, the King, the eternal King. I saw the tremendous cloud of the glory of the Lord, brilliant cloud, cover the heavens of that place where I was taken by the Lord. And at that place, when I asked him what all this meant, then he said, coming down there to you. Coming down there to you. So at that moment, immediately I saw a building at that site. There is a building with a tall, uh, looks like a tower, or a taller column of that building. Then I saw the thick, dark cloud of the Godhead descend onto the top of that building. Tall tower like this, probably a column of that building. And then I saw the thick dark cloud that normally is God the Father descend like smoke on top of that tower, that building. And the next moment, at where I was, I realized that God the Father had arrived. And his glory came like waves. The cloud of God came like brilliant waves, brilliant and radiant brilliant and radiant waves of the cloud 
and the cloud began to wrap around his servant and flow all around him, all within, next to him, as he moved on this side. The cloud came towards him, hit him, and covered him. And then the cloud around was waving all around that area where his servant was. Again, and the next thing I saw is that God the Father himself had arrived, and the cloud of God Yahweh began to come directly to hit his servant and wrap him and also flow around him in the most fearful event I have ever witnessed. So, we are living through very, very delicate times. We are living through very historic times. And the Lord has now brought up the escalation of his visitation. The Godhead, God the Father himself, he is sending me to a place. And at that place, he will descend, coming down there to you. And then he will come to his servant and wrap around him and create a wave of glorious radiant cloud that will be waving around next to his hand on this side and around him as he moves this way around him, waves of the glory of the cloud of God. This is a very critical hour in the church. Even the interpretation of all this, this is the time when the church is sitting on the verge of eternity and the Messiah is coming. Now, this visitation, the Lord has alerted, he has spoken this visitation at a time when we are just leaving right now on our way to Italy for the big meeting in Italy, the conference, all pastors and church. And so you can see very clearly, just the other day, he brings the person of the Holy Spirit who sits in front of me and asks me to take a seat and then says, the coming of the Lord is in hand, in hand. And now the Lord is talking about the big visitation of God the Father coming down to the earth, to this place where he will send me. And then in a very shocking and very dreadful and fearful moment, I see the people very scared all over there, when the cloud now directly comes and targets his servant and wraps around him and the, the, the radiant waves waving around. If he does his hand this way, they wave this way. It's going to be a very fearful moment on this earth. I have seen the Messiah coming, and I know that all the four corners of the earth are listening to this warning on the coming of the Lord. And the most important thing I have seen is that only the Holy Church gets to enter. So this is a critical time when the Church is sitting on the verge of eternity. And eternity is eternity. Even after trillions of years are over, eternity has not yet begun. And so, the Lord is asking the nations to prepare. Because there is going to be a big, big presentation of the power of God on this earth. Even beyond the rapture of the church. I have seen the Messiah come. 